Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make beef stew. So I've got my Dutch oven out, and I've got it on the stove heating up with a couple tablespoons of some bacon drippings. And then we're going to brown up our beef. This is about two and a half pounds of the beef stew meat in the pack. I drained it from its juices that was down in the pack, where it's off a little bit. Drained it, and then put it in a bowl, and then I put the flour garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. And what we're going to do is round up our little pieces of beef. And we're going to have to do this in batches. Now the beef ain't going to get all the way done. Brown it on all sides. And then we'll put it in a plate. Keep doing our batches of it until we got all of our beef done. And browned up. And then later on we'll put it back in the pot. It'll get tender and get cooked all the way through. Give it a little flip it. Brown them all sides. And then when this batch gets done, we'll take that out and put another batch here. And get it browned up. Alright, now we're going to deglaze the pot with some beef broth, about four cups. And then I'm going to come in here with a spoon and scrape all the tidbits off the bottom. Now we're going to dump in our veggies. I've got one onion chopped, two stalks of celery chopped, two to three cups of carrots and parsnips chopped. That's the veggies that we like in ours. Sometimes I'll put rutabaga and turnips in here. This is what I had on in hand. And the reason I cut them in some good sized chunks is because this is going to cook a while and simmer. In goes the beef with all the juices that was on the plate. Here's some potato, a good four large potatoes. I'm gonna put another cup. I just rinsed out my cup that had beef broth in it of liquid. So that's five cups of beef broth all together. Bring this up to a boil now. The beef broth I use is that, better than bouillon beef broth. And then you put it in water, that's what I used. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Two bay leaves. A teaspoon or two of regular paprika. A teaspoon or two of some rosemary in here. And also a teaspoon or two of thyme. Some salt and pepper to your taste. My secret is a pinch or two of some allspice. Just make sure you mix it real good. I forgot my garlic. I like to put a good heaping mint tablespoon in. I peeled the potatoes. You can leave the skins on if you want to. I also took the peeling off the parsnips, so you can leave them on if you want to. It's totally up to your preference. See, it's good up to a good bubble. Now we're just going to cover it, and I'm going to turn it down to a low simmer. Let it cook for about two to three hours. Depends on how tender you like your beef to be. All right, our beef stew's done. I like them when mine cooks down like this. I did take all the grease that was off the top and I fished out the bay leaves. It was in that because you don't want nobody biting into them. See how thick it got? If you want yours a little bit thicker, maybe you can do a cornstarch slurry and put it in to get it thicker. I ladled up a bowl. You can serve it with biscuits, cornbread, saltine crackers, or the little oyster crackers. I'll be eating the little oyster crackers with mine. You on the top, and so there you have it. Beef stew, my way. <laughs>